Hey guys, welcome to Now I'm Adam. And I'm Roos Tadwell. And we thought it would take at least a few more years before we'd be able to bust out this headline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, never fear loyal viewers, when a juicy, sorta of clickbaity title is there, you can bet the no will belly flop all over it. Really? Belly flop, Lawrence? Yeah. Yeah, because then you just, that's the ultimate way to come at something. Yeah, yeah. Maximum force. Cover it the whole thing. Just mm -hmm. a big flap. Mm -hmm. And then you're laughing stock of the entire internet. Uh, and on that note, it looks like Fallout 5 is confirmed to be in development. Already? So. What up, Duke? Hey. hey! Nice, nice one. It was in the script, but you did it. So this news comes from uh, FragHero.com and our most treasured source of leaks, voice actors. Gosh, they have one job to do, which is talk and then not talk, but they can only do the first part. Yeah. Um, as reported by Frag Hero writer Spazzy W, a series of comments on Instagram from Fallout 4 voice actor Ryan Alosio may have tipped information about the next game in the Fallout series. Yeah, the story starts with Alosio, who voices Deacon in Fallout 4, posting a collage of his work in the game on Instagram. Alosio mistakenly posted a picture of Zeke instead of Deacon in the original post, which is actually understandable. The two characters look nearly identical. Uh, so what happened from there, Lawrence? Yeah, regardless, the Fallout community quickly informed Alosio of his mistake. Uh, he copped to it pretty immediately. There's nothing too spicy here yet, but the real Paydirt hits a few replies down the chain. Mm -hmm. In replying to Fallout Temple, Alosio writes the following. Quote, yeah, that slipped by me somehow. The damn sunglasses and dark hair. Zeke! Seriously though, I appreciate that. It would be very helpful to gather more followers for the Fantastic Fallout 4 tribe here. Internally, there is a movement gearing up for the pre-production of Fallout 5. Shh, obviously I can't get into any details right now, but it will be a very interesting journey moving forward. Thumbs up emoticon. Uh oh. Where, where does hold on? Oh, where does he sorry. think he is? Some like some like 1760s speakeasy. <laughs> shh! Don't say anything. Well, you know that when you type in shh, you're not allowed to share it. Yeah. Anyway. According to Spazzy W, the comment was quickly deleted and replaced with one that doesn't allude to Fallout 5 at all. But this is the internet, and no accidental slip can escape Spazzy W's lightning fingers. Yeah, to clarify, the screenshot Spazzy grabbed doesn't include the full comment, because apparently he wasn't able to screen cap it before it got deleted. So I guess overall question, Lawrence, what the hell? I guess the question here is, is Fallout 5 genuinely in pre-production, or did Elosio make a genuine slip of the thumbs? Maybe he meant to say something else, I don't even know. Personally, I tend to think this is actually pretty legitimate, but not worth losing your mind over. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, for starters, Voice actors are starting to get a weird reputation for leaking games, mm. even within the Fallout franchise. In early 2013, Eric Todd Dellums, the voice of uh, the Fallout 3 DJ3 dog, hmm. tweeted that, quote, there may be more of the dog coming, fingers crossed. Uh, at the time, many assumed that Dellums accidentally leaked Fallout 4. Turns out that wasn't actually true at all. It's yeah. kind of weird. Uh, he leaked something else. Uh, he later clarified that the project in question was not a Bethesda Softworks production, and thus not Fallout 4. He sounds like a confused and, man. Yeah, they. it seems like they don't know any more than we do. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna tweet on Instagram or whatever and then say I'm in Fallout 12. So do you think, Lawrence, that maybe he was talking about Fallout 4 and then they cut him out because he leaked it and that was sort of like, I don't know, getting back at him? Or maybe he is actually working on Fallout 5 or maybe they're doing like an MMO. Ah, my gut says it was probably like a fan production. Like hmm. some, some YouTube producers were making a live action Fallout thing that he was going to try to be a part of and hmm. was teasing that out. It's hard to say. And there have been actually substantial leaks yeah. coming from pretty big voice actors. Um, one of the biggest one came from your hero, Kevin, Kevin Conroy, Conroy Batman he's, himself. He's the man. Yeah, so after making a few leading statements at the Dallas Comic-Con in 2013, Conroy took to Twitter to make sure everyone knew he was talking about the next Batman Arkham game, which hadn't even been announced yet. He even used all caps and specified it wasn't Arkham Origins, which was set to release in the fall of that year. Thanks for the clarification, Batman. Just in case you're confused about my leak, let me clarify that leak for you. Hey, they, they don't know about video games, yeah. it's fine. They're in their own world and they, they, I don't know, they gotta take their kids to soccer practice. Yeah, so for some reason, voice actors are developing a legacy of being a little loose-lipped. Huh. Uh, perhaps it's because they work tangentially to the project and thus aren't so steeped in the secrecy around it. Mm. Uh, we're not voice actors, so we can't say, we can only speculate. You're gonna be a voice actor. But not yet. Yeah, and I plan yeah. to spoil as much as I can. I'm gonna leak everything I can possibly yes. leak. Uh, Lawrence, what can we do as games journalists? Well, we look at games a lot, so we can at least uh, provide some educated speculation about development, especially the development timelines for huge AAA games like Fallout 5 would assuredly be. And in that respect, it does make a lot of sense that Fallout 5 would actually be ramping up pre-production right about now. Hmm. Uh, you know, you, you ship a big title, you give the team a little time off, and then you get back into the office and start drawing up design documents, concept art, things like that. So in case you guys didn't know, 
It takes a long, long fucking time to make big open world RPGs like Fallout 4 or like Fallout 5. As far back as we can pin it, Fallout 4 was already in production as of August 2010, and that's according to a Eurogamer interview with Todd Howard. He said that, uh, quote, we're in production on the new game, and we have design going for the one after that. Mm. So the context here is that Bethesda announced Skyrim at the Spike Video Game Awards in December 2010, that's after the interview. Mm -hmm. So that makes Skyrim the new game, and Fallout 4 being the one after that. Damn. So we're looking at at least five years between design and release. So with all that said, if Bethesda wants Fallout 5 in the world by the year 2021, uh, it had a better start of production already, and that's also why you probably shouldn't get too excited at this news. Also, uh, odds are Fallout 5 is in early production, but that doesn't mean you'll be playing it anytime soon. Well, let me, let me ask you this, Lawrence. We've already stated that voice actors are simultaneously informed and uninformed. Could he be referring to some sort of like DLC or something else that's going to be an addition to Fallout 4? Like Not a necessarily a whole new game? Yeah, sure, that's entirely possible. In the original studio, it was just FO5. He was talking to the Fallout community, so there's not a whole lot of... Not a whole lot of ideas about what that could have meant otherwise, but yeah, it's possible he mistook a project for DLC or some kind of add-on content. People get just enough information to be dangerous, is I think what goes on here. At the same time, I think it's thoroughly realistic to expect that Fallout 5 is in pre-production, but that doesn't mean it's a game, or anything even closely approximating a game. Uh, who knows what kind of hardware it's going to run on by the time it comes out. All these things are up in the air, so it's just, it's a ghost of a whisper, but you can bet Bethesda is funding a sequel to the Fallout franchise. Yeah, but what about the next Elder Scrolls? Skyrim 2, if you will. We did a video about that too! Oh, where was I? <laughs> you were standing exactly where you are. Right? Oh, this whole thing just comes and goes. Um, but before we go, one final note. Mr. Losio, we're sorry if we're putting you in more hot water by reporting on this story. We've had slip-ups before, only to have the audience remind us over and over that it happened. Yeah, Dark Souls 3, where did those, that was That's fake real. story. That's real. Oh, that was it's real. It's coming out in like a week. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Uh, either way, sorry about that, but we report on the news, and that's what this whole thing is like, so welcome to our weird world. Listen, we know what it's like like to have a voice and be dangerous, all right? That's how we live our lives. This affects literally nobody. I have a voice, and you can't trust me with nothing. That's not the script. Uh, anyway, we'll see you guys in 2021 or whatever when Fallout 5 comes out. I'm gonna fly in my flying car. I'll take no copies of Fallout 5 because they didn't play the other one. And then I leave. Happy weekend, everybody. Joel, joke, do it. No, this is not a joke. Jokey oh. Joel! Let's not have a weekend. <laughs> Work through it. It's not a joke. Uh, we have a lot of work. This is serious. We have a lot of work to do, and we don't have much time to do it because we're all going to Austin again. Right. So let's come in this weekend and volunteer our time for Funhouse. What do you think? Sure, we, can we get a tent? We'll put a tent in the middle of the office, and then we sleep in the tent so that way we don't even have to go home? You won't be sleeping. Okay. Oh, just work the whole time. Yeah. Hmm. Joel, you want to order us a pizza? You won't be eating. Oh.